Hello, my name is Glenn Monroe and I'm the owner of Brain Diesel. And in today's video, I want to show you, I'm going to take you through a project that I'm going to work through. I'm going to have some problems and I'm going to fix them along the way. So several times, or sometimes you'll find yourself going online and you find a table and you want to take that table and pull it into Excel. Now there are ways to import and I've shown those in another video, but they're not always clean. Sometimes you just need to copy and paste. But when you copy and paste, it doesn't always work out right. So I've gone to Wikipedia here, the Academy Award for Best Actor of the 2000s, and I'm going to select this stuff. I'm going to go down here, so I got the 2000s, and now I'm just going to copy that. And I hop into Excel, and I'm going to right-click and paste, or Control V, and it pastes my data in. So I've got my table now put in, in this document. But everything is clickable. If I happen to, they're all hyperlinked. If I happen to click any of these, I'm going to go to that web page. Well, I don't want that. I just want the data. So I'm going to select these four columns. I'm going to right click and remove hyperlinks. And everything I'm doing here in 2010, you can do in 2007 or 13. So I'm going to remove all my hyperlinks, nice and clean. So that's taken care of. I'm going to widen all my columns. Since they're already selected, I just go between any two. I can double click to auto fit them or I can drag them to be a specific size. So I'm just going to double click so that they all fit. Now, I don't want the roles. I only want the actor in the film and the year. So I'm going to take that column and simply delete it. So that's cleaned up. Now, the next problem I have is I have 73rd, 74th, 75th. I don't care about that. I want this to say 2000, 2001, 2002. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I want to get rid of all those bracketed 73rd, 74th, 75th. And a quick scan shows me that there's the only thing in that, those, that column is bracketed stuff or the year number that I actually want. So I'm going to select this column and I'm going to replace. Now to replace on Excel on the far right, there's a find and select key and you can go to replace there. But you'll notice when I hover over that, it says control H. Control H is the shortcut. That's the way I do it. So I would just press Control H, and this shows up. Now, with the Find and Replace window now active, what am I looking for? I'm looking for an opening bracket and whatever happens to follow it. So if I don't know what's going to come after it, I don't want to worry about what, it's just anything with a bracket in it, I put an asterisk. And the asterisk says I want the opening bracket and whatever comes next. So the asterisk is my wild card. I want to replace that with nothing. So I just leave my replace with blank. And I hit replace all and my list is scrubbed. So those 10 replacements have been made. I can now close this. My next problem I have is I want 2000 in each of these cells and then 2001 in these and so on. I don't need a header row. I just want to have it, the data next to it. So I'm going to select these cells here. And when I've selected the range that has all the cells, just where my data is, I want to go to all of the blanks. Now the way I go to is, again, you can go over to the, the binoculars and hit go to that way. But my way is there's two shortcuts. You can hit the F5 key, or the way I tend to do, do it is Control G. With Control G selected or pressed, this window opens up. And I want to go to something special, so I hit the special button, and that special thing is blanks. And upon hitting OK, only the blank cells are selected. Now, I want each of these cells to be the same as the cell above them. So, what I'm going to do is I hit, I'm in my first cell, B4, is, all these are selected, but B4 is active, and I can see that in my name box. I go equals, and I click on B3. So I'm making B4 equal to one above it. If I hit enter, that one cell will say 2000. But I don't want to do that. I want all these cells to be equal to the one above. So it's kind of like saying ditto. So I want each of these equal to the one above. When I do equal the one above, then I press control enter. And it puts that exact same formula, equal the one above, in every cell in one shot. So these are all equal to B3, these are, or this is equal to B3, B3, B4, B5, this is equal to B9, B10, B11. And everything just dittoed the whole way down. 
Now, I want to delete these rows, but if I delete this, let me hit delete um, here, it kills my the result of my formula. So I need to turn these formulas into hard numbers. I'm going to just grab the entire sheet, just do this in one shot. I'm going to copy the entire sheet, and then I'm going to right click, and I'm going to paste the values, and the value is the result of the formula. So I do that, and now all my formulas are gone. It's as if I typed all these numbers in myself, but I never have to. The next thing I want to do is delete these rows. And I want to do this very easily, but I notice here that, let's see, when I drag across, that's okay, this one snaps down because these two cells are merged. So again, I'll just select the entire document, turn off the merge and center to make sure there's nothing merged, and now I just have some blank rows. So each of these cells is independent. If I don't do that, it just makes it a little messier when I go to clean, my, clean out all my blanks. So now I'm going to select this range, and I want to delete my blank rows. Here we go. So with that range selected, I'm going to hit Control G to go to, special, my blanks, I hit OK. That's done. And now I'm simply going to right click and delete the entire row. So now my, my list is getting cleaner. The last thing I have to deal with is the numbers don't look the same. I, if I want I have to decide what I want them to look like. I kind of like this bluish font and centered like that. So I'm going to take this one and I can do it a couple ways. I can use the format painter and then just shade the cells and apply the format across them. Or I could, let me get hit escape there. With this cell, I'll right click and drag down. And when I get to the bottom, because I right clicked, it says, well, what are your options? Did you want to copy, fill the series, or fill formatting only? So I can choose fill formatting only. And now those are all clean. I can do the same thing, dragging it up, and fill formatting only. And now everything's nice and clean. So I've got my 2000s there, 2001, and so on. That's how one way to scrub a list. That's how I would do it. So hopefully this video has helped. Thanks for watching. Stay pumped. I'll see you next time. Bye now.